Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to be building the Star Wars X-Wing, as today is May the 4th, better known as Star Wars Day. So you might know the X-Wing if you watch Star Wars, which I think a lot of you do. If you don't, well, you're, what kind of rock have you been living under? Anyways, this is my X-Wing recreation. Um, I was originally going to make it into an SSTO, but those plans won't pan out as you'll see here in a few minutes, but yeah, the X-Wing is, well, its name is actually the T-65 X-Wing. Uh, it was created by the Rebel Alliance in Star Wars to counteract the Empire's TIE Fighters, and the X-Wing is my favorite uh, fighter aircraft not aircraft, spacecraft that the Rebel Alliance makes, so I decided to recreate that, and since today is Star Wars Day, well, yeah, this would probably match. So currently, I'm constructing the X-Wing's main body. Now, it's kind of hard to replicate, considering that the X-Wing has, what do you call it, a Mark II-ish kind of boxy shape, but I wanted this to be Mark I size, so I decided to just Keep it circular, makes more sense. Here am I putting the landing gear, and you might be asking, wait, why is the landing gear not landing wheels? You won't be able to move. Uh, no, 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 my friend. I will be turning this into an VTOL SSTO. Um, no, actually, it, it's not gonna be a VTOL. It's not gonna be an SSTO, but it's gonna be a VTOL. Um, so, yeah. So currently, I have the thud engines on, but those just weren't strong enough for my own good because they're just not strong enough. And so I replaced them with aero spikes. One isn't enough, so I just add two. And yeah, it's gonna work out pretty nicely. So prototype number one, let's see how it goes. Uh, didn't go as well, tipped, but prototype number two, yeah, it kind of flipped out of control. So I'm changing the control surfaces back again, and yeah, this is pretty solid. Um, tried to make it look more boxy by adding those air intakes. Those air intakes won't do much because they're closed anyway, so it's not air intake clipping, which probably doesn't even matter in this case, but just in case you were wondering. So let's launch. As you can see, I've slowed down the footage so that you could get a better grasp on how fast this thing takes off. We're in cockpit view. We're gonna fire up those twin aero spike engines and we're gonna throttle up. And yeah, this actually worked surprisingly well. I wasn't expecting it to work this well, but it turns out it does. And here am I just configuring my staging because I forgot to do that earlier. Sorry, Scott. But yeah, this is pretty nice considering that I did nothing to tune this. Uh, I fire off the rapier engines, but that's not enough, so I have to fire up the aero spikes again just to gain some more altitude. And yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I would prefer if the aero spike engines could gimbal, but they can't, so... Yeah, we're gonna retract the landing gear. And yeah, this is pretty solid, but the Delta V Martians for an SSTO that uses Aero spikes is gonna be pretty slim. So, what are we gonna do? Well, you're just gonna have to watch till the end to find out. So here I, here we are on our first attempt, which I have a Terrier engine on there, but that, I do love the Terrier, but it's just not enough. Yeah, it's not enough Delta V or it's thrust rate ratio to get us into orbit. Uh, so I switched to a nuclear engine later on, but even that proves to be insufficient. I tried so many times. Anyways, while this flight is going on, if you're enjoying the video so far, uh, remember to smash that like button, click the subscribe button, and ring the bell. God, I hate that you have to say that now. But yeah, if you guys want to support me in any other way, there are links to the Patreon in the description if you would like to support me that way. But even just watching this video and giving a like, commenting, and subscribing is already a good way to support the channel. All those ads aside, here we are 
trying to circularize and realizing I have definitely not enough Delta V to circularize and me still trying anyway and running out of fuel instantly. So now we're gonna add a nuclear engine, which is way more efficient, but it can't gimbal. So yeah, we're going to turn this into a actual rocket. I tried to make it an SSTO, but it just wasn't working. So yeah, we're just gonna turn this into a giant rocket, much like my Atlanta space plane video, which you can see by clicking here. And the fairing is abnormally large, so I'm just going to add these fuel tanks just to make the body seem a little larger. Mammoths aren't enough, we're just gonna add a bunch of Mastodon engines. And even that barely inches this thing off the pad. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good, I guess, but it, I mean, the, just look at how many stretch you need to get this thing to work. But launch step number one, um, we're gonna do a, I guess I'm trying to do like some sort of cinematic thing. But yeah, we can skip through that because this is this launch attempt will fail because of reasons, which I really regret doing. Like the mistakes I made on this mission just seem really, really weird to me. Like watch, I will decouple the stage when it has 2000 meters per second of fuel remaining. Like, why did I do that? That literally makes absolutely no sense to me. But I guess me at that time thought oh hey this could be pretty cool i guess but no it does not anyways while we're while my uh, past self is failing at this mission um i've been playing around in bd armory recently uh thanks to like other channels that do bd armory stuff like son of smith i've been watching a lot and i have been developing a lot of jet aircraft off camera but oh looks like we're launching again this time I turn a like crazy amount and yeah, that's just not gonna work. But I managed to make it work anyways because I don't know how I got this thing to work. This profile was so inefficient. I bet even your grandma with her eyes closed could do it a more efficient thing than this. But doesn't matter, we have a surplus of Delta V and yeah, look, we're gonna deploy the payload fairings. And yeah, that was a cheeky little, cool little shot there of the cockpit. Anyways, so yeah, I've been playing around in BD Armory. I have a lot of jet fighter aircraft that I want to show off, but I'm just kind of nervous to upload a video that's not KSP2 since, you know, my KSP1 videos, they're not getting as many views. So if you're watching this and somehow it has 10,000 views, then I literally just made a fool of myself, but it probably doesn't. So I'm pretty safe on that part, but if you guys do want to see like some BD Armory uh, kind of fighter showcase and kind of some fun BD Armory quickies and shorts and stuff like that, then remember to comment if you want that down below because I will have no idea if you want it or not if you do not comment. And while you're down there, hey, remember to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more KSP1 content. I might get KSP2 in the future. I don't know. It's not that optimized yet. So, yeah. If you want to know my opinion on Kerbal Space Program 2, you can click this video up here, which has a fair amount of views. I mean, it has like 200 something views by the when I'm recording this, which is May the 4th, 1.49 p.m. Cent Central Standard Time. Here's a thumbnail picture that I'm going to take. Uh... Yeah, it has a click-through ratio of 3.1, which is better than usual. Which is, wow, I'm, see, this is why I really wanted to get KSP2, because then, yeah, stuff like that can happen. But KSP1, I mean, uh, it's it's a great game, okay? But KSP2, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff in stock KSP2 that, oh, by the way, a lot of stuff exploded on this re-entry. Yeah. And flipping out of control a lot. Anyways, yeah, so... KSP2, great game. KSP1, great game. Both great, but KSP2 has a lot of features in stock that KSP1 doesn't have. By the way, here we are trying to land vertically, but you might have catched in the build that I attached some parachutes to
to as an abort system just in case and i knew that with all this with most of the fuel and material or air intakes gone it would probably not be balanced enough so i'm just going to do a cheeky little landing um wrapping up the video so remember if you liked the video you could click the like button subscribe ring the bell all that shebang and check out the description for any other ways to support the channel and i have just destroyed my entire aircraft but nonetheless this is an amazing video thank you all for watching i have been andrew the astronaut and i will be back soon with another ksp video i hope you enjoyed this is andrew the astronaut signing off